dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. Or taking over in the stride. Good, and then I have to look, see, make sure he's straight. Tracking straight, good. Without too much bending to the inside. Good. And straight onto the diagonal. Good. Good. And then at the end of the diagonal into the trot. Good. All right. So then I just make sure on the right that it feels similar. Good. That has a good sitting, good trot. In the sitting trot that he accepts my seat. Good. Come back onto the circle at this end. And once again, through the enlarging, try to move him out into the outside ring. That he stretches and reaches for it. Good. And when I'm happy with that, good, then I ask for the canter. Good. And again, same quality of canter stride. Good. Good. And then keep them moving forward here. Good. One. Right. Good. And that. Good. So again, I have to work on the straightness. Make sure that the forehand stays to the inside. Good. But it stays in front of the hind end. Good. And yeah, yeah, better. And sometimes I try to do a slight, very slight counterflexion. Good. And we'll do it again on the next long side. And I think when this outside shoulder is back, outside front leg is on the ground, you can do a little counterflexion. Now, now, now. Good. And it doesn't have to be much. I don't want to exaggerate. Just a little thing. Yeah. Good. Good. And as I do that, I want to make sure that the right hind leg stays straight behind, but it's not too much to the right. So again here, and it's actually a little bit with the whip, you can see. You keep the right hind jumping. Good. It's not so much that he thinks flying chain, not so much that it becomes awkward. Good. Good. And then I want to make sure, again, I'll say him on the diagonal line, that he's willing to canter straight and forward and into the same contact. And when I do this, good, I try to keep my hands quiet and appealing to the horse. So that I'm not moving them around, but they stay very steady. And my goal is to make him reach for that length of rein, reach for that, reach for my hand. Good. 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 Here, the good. The reach is, is good right now. He seeks the hand, seeks the contact. Good. And swings forward into it. Good. And into the canter again. Good. Good. Using the transitions to try to get his back even a little bit softer, more involved in the work. But the transitions help to do that, and the canter itself, of course, helps. That could, because due to the nature of the canter, the quality of the canter, it encourages the horses to lift their backs and to swing more through their backs. So the canter itself becomes an important part of the warm up. Okay. Good. A little stumble there, but yeah, the mind will be a little bit more active, pay a little bit more attention. Good. Good. And into the trot. Good. So the, tra the transitions have to be forward enough. Good. And reaching enough. Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top seated international dressage trainers, riders, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. 
The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online, while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects. DressageClinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips.